Hi, I'm Helena Irene Mikkelsen from Imperia, and you are now watching Live Prog by Malzen. Hey, Prog Proggers! We are Incidents, Prog Metal Band from Utrecht, the Netherlands, and you're about to watch one of those great video reviews by Marcel on LiveProg.com. I'm Francois, I play the guitar and I sing. I'm Rob, I play the drums. And I'm Lucas, and I take care of the keyboards department and vocals. Marcel is about to review our debut album, Incarcerated, which we made just for you, the prog rock fanatic. With our debut album, we like to invite you to our musical world. We take you on a journey through sensitive passages, interspersed with solid rock and metal riffs and challenging time signatures. We hope to captivate our listeners with our music supported by lyrics that may raise some questions about modern day society. Did you ever wonder if you're really in control of your own life? Did you really make your own choices? Should we take everyday life for granted? Questions that make you wonder what freedom really means. Well, after spending lots of time in the rehearsal and recording studio, Incidents is now finally out in the open. We hope you like our music, and if you do, please let us know on incidents.com. If you want to see incarcerated live, join us the 29th of May at Davis in Utrecht. For more information, check out liveproduct.com. Thank you for watching, and enjoy Marcel's review, and we'll see you soon. Introduction like this, I can take my time. Yes, very nice of the guys to introduce themselves. Incidents, a new Dutch band, a prog metal band, so expect heavier music. Well, you can hear that, of course, in the song that I opened with on this re review, which was the first song of their album called Ultimate Sin. Now, we're talking about this album, Incidents Incarcerated. Now, I was put on the trail of incidents a few weeks back when I was visiting my uh, friends at the Symphoshop studio. And, uh, well, they just received the album there and they played one track, Ultimate Sin, in their show. And they asked if I was interested in getting to know this band. So I said, of course, yeah, sure, new music, it sounded great, so I was interested. And what was my surprise? I think three days later, a big envelope fell on my doorstep including this CD, Incarcerated, and a very nice, I'll show it here, now you can see it, it's the biography of the band and the contact sheet of the band now. So if I wanted to contact this band or have more information, well, um, they have a MySpace page, they have a Twitter page, they have a Facebook page, they have a website, and they have email. So, well, they even include a phone number and an address, so lots of ways to contact this band. Now, of course I was intrigued, because I received, I'll put this away, I've received a lot of digipacks for review in the, over the past time. But I gotta say, when I got this one, and I felt it, it felt really heavy. So I was surprised, because, well, this is a band that does not have a label, they did everything themselves, and if you check their website, you can purchase set CD for less than 10 euros. So, wow, I gotta say, wow, how amazing, because it is a solid quality package. Now, of course, we're interested in music. It's a, heavy, it's a heavier band, of course, because they play more prog metal. Um, nonetheless, a very interesting band. They make uh, some really good music. Um, the album Incarcerated counts um, about six songs and lasts about 40 minutes. So it's not as long as, well, you're used to these days because normally they cram up a CD, 70, 80 minutes of music. No, these guys, for their debut, they took it 
they took a moderate amount of music, 6 songs, 40 minutes, well, if you translate it back to an LP, vinyl days, it's the same amount of time you get on an LP. Now, they used their time well, because these 6 songs are really good. But the guys did more than just make an album, make it in a fancy cover. Um, they really invested in promoting their name, because of course if you are a new band you really have to make an effort in putting yourself on the market because there are so many bands, so many albums. Well, we have less and less money to spend, we have rising ticket prices and we still want to see our favorite bands, at least I hope we do. So um, you gotta do something. Well, they did something really amazing. Check it out. Of course this is only the rough version of what, you, what they did. They recorded a highly professional video. And you see the pyrotechnics and everything, they, have, they had an audience there. And well, on the photos you will see in this review, you can see that they really took it uh, very seriously. They had a professional video crew filming that clip. So it's very impressive and I can't wait to see the end result. Now, of course, this clip gives you more and of an idea of what kind of band this is. Well, as the guys explain themselves, the lyrics really are thought-provoking. Um, think of the line of the Matrix movie, which is interesting because in the um, song you just heard, um, which is called Silence Must Break, they used a sample of another thought-provoking uh, movie uh, from Terry Gilliam, Twelve Monkeys. And they like to add some quotes in it, they, they used a sample of that movie and in a later song they also used a sample of The Matrix. Now, the music of Incidents is heavy, but it's very good and I'm, I say I'm really amazed by how well these guys write their songs. Now, another uh, beautiful song, a uh, beautiful sample is Remnants of the Past, which is um, an instrumental song and it's, well, it's really great, so check it out. This is, this is really the kind of music I like. I mean, I like prog, I like the softer side, but sometimes I like the heavier side. And especially when it's so well written and well executed as these guys do. Now, as I said, the heavy package, it's a digipack which folds open nicely. With, of course, the booklet and the CD. And, well, nothing much behind it. Okay, but the booklet is interesting. I'll take a moment because I just mentioned the instrumental song, Remnants of the Past. And, well, if you want to know what it's about, well, I think this will give you an idea. 
it is not always the happy tunes they sing about. It's not always about love and how great life is. No, a lot of music is more on, well, the problems we deal with in life. And of course, the music is not meant to depress you. It definitely is no depressing music, absolutely not. It is music that gives you something to think about. And, well, the lyrics are excellent in this album. Now, um, you've seen the three guys from Incidents. Um, they play together, they form a trio. They tried to uh, find a good bass player, but they couldn't find it, so they just stuck the three of them. In the video you can see that uh, they can make, bring their music live, and that is definitely their intention, to bring it live as well. Now, um, it's not just all heavy. Uh, they have a very nice ballad, really beautiful, soft, with acoustic guitar. It's definitely, um, well, that shows that they're not just uh, a bunch of guys who can rock, but they also have a lighter side, a more touching side, so to speak. What I always say is, the main idea behind a video review is that I can play you music, so you can listen and hear for yourself what a band is all about. Now, I mentioned the movie The Matrix, so why not listen to the song where it's all about. It's the last song of the album, and it's not the end of the review, but this one is called Abeyance. Something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter. You are a slave. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage. Born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. Dutch band, a trio, Incidents. They make really good music. Heavy, but good. Yet, with ballads, with a softer side, with thought-provoking lyrics. They are definitely up for the challenge to bring their music live, and they shown that they are willing to do a lot to present their band and to promote their music. You know, they're not just some guys who record an album at home and just throw it out on the air and then hope that it'll be okay. No, they put good effort in it. They have a good website, a beautiful website. The press information that I received with this CD was absolutely well, um, well done. Um, well, the video, of course, we have seen a bit. So um, definitely I can say that these guys are c confident that well, their music is good and that people will like it. So, what leaves us then? Well, as I said, there's a lot of bands out there. Um, every band would like to, people to buy their CD and, well, you just can't buy all of them. Now, normally I always say, well, check out our partner, Beyond Rock, uh, because he's dedicated to music and he offers, well, basically everything you want at a fair price. However, in the case of incidents, I just simply say go to incidents.com and order this CD for less than 10 euros excluding shipping costs. Well, 
these guys make a quality album at such a good price. I say other bands follow this example if you want to win the fight against downloading because this is a fair price. Um, well, what more do you want? So, um, well, I've said all I can say. The rest is up to you. I hope you enjoy it. Um, check out a little bit more of the band as I will close off with the last part of um, the clip they recorded, Silence Must Break. Hope you enjoy Incidents and thank you for watching LiveProg.com. Hope you will keep watching us because we will bring lots and lots of more cool video reviews and lots of interesting interviews. So stay tuned on LiveProg.com. Those promises that made us feel so far